Black truffle gnocchi? Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Is it gnocchi or gnocchi? Gnocchi. Gnocchi. What, what, what language is that? Italian. Where do you think pasta comes from? Sounds Japanese. Gnocchi. 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 <laughs> Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If you're interested in vegan food and vegan food reviews, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a hot cup of Starbucks coffee, press that subscribe button, and enjoy this episode. Where are we at today? Today, we are at Plum Bistro. Where is that? It's in Seattle in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Seattle, Washington? Mm -hmm. Nice. So here's the thing. There was a problem with some of our episodes that we filmed in Seattle. There was some kind of an interference with the audio when we were doing the reviews. So completely useless. So bad, too sad. I said that backwards. You know. Anyways, we had to re-record most of the reviews and this is one of them. Plum is in Capitol Hill and it's a very busy area with lots of other restaurants and shops. We try to come here for dinner on a Friday night. First of all, Plum doesn't take reservations. It's a first come first serve. And the parking was insane. And it's not the first time we've had trouble finding parking in this neighborhood on a Friday night or Saturday night. So we circled and circled and circled and there was nothing. So like the restaurant closes at nine. It was around 830. We temporarily parked in a church parking lot and decided we'd get takeout. Dude said we could though. Yeah. Dude, dude said we could <laughs> before you start. So interior, what's the place like? It's very small. So that's another problem. They can't serve that many people at once so they have tables inside seats at the bar and when covid hit they constructed these little glass huts outside and they were also full so there really was nowhere for us to sit it was kind of cold though i don't know if people would have wanted i don't wanted know it. if it's heated or not in those mm -hmm. little glass huts but probably not because i think i saw yeah. people wearing jackets yeah i know it probably be freezing Let's get to the food. What did we get? When you go to Plum, mm -hmm. don't leave without ordering the mac and cheese. They call it mac and yeast for nutritional yeast. Right. But it's their take on mac and cheese. Do not leave Plum without ordering the mac and cheese because I think that's one of the things they're famous for and we order it every time we go. Diana's favorite. It's my favorite mac and cheese ever. I got the Reuben sandwich as my main meal. And I got the black truffle gnocchi. Tell the good folks who are sitting on the toilet right now watching this video why you like the mac and cheese so much. It's delicious. It's cashew based. They use macaroni noodles and you can actually find the recipe online and make it on your own. However, the recipe list is kind of crazy. I wouldn't have the patience or the time or want to buy all those ingredients to make it at home. Why not? Why? Right. One that. of the ingredients is like liquid smoke. I mean, why? Why? I got Am some I... liquid smoke. <laughs> no, you <laughs> You bong like water. a fog machine or no, like bong water. <laughs> Isn't that liquid smoke? No. <laughs> Anyways, it is the best mac and cheese in the world. Right. What did you think of the mac and cheese? I think the mac and cheese is really good. I think the portion is not justified by the price. It's not worth the money is what I'm saying. But it's really good. It's just an appetizer size. You could possibly request it on tray size. No, it's fifteen dollar US. Twelve US dollars. With tax and tip and Worth it. the gas money to get there. Oh my god! <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. 
That's impossible. No, it is not. You should not be eating that in the future with me. <laughs> Wait. If you're giving it a four. Okay, now we got the Reuben sandwich. I like the Reuben sandwich. I thought it was good. It had onions. It had pickled cabbage. It had cheese. And the meat is tofu pastrami. The sauce it was Thousand Island dressing. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. A little greasy. But other than that, I quite enjoyed it. What do you think? I liked it. I thought the portion size was good. All the ingredients went really well together. So it was really good. It was mm. filling. Yeah, I agree. Definitely filling. Yum, yum, yum. One, One two, two, three. But what could have made it better? A little less greasy, honestly. That was my only problem with it. I think it was a little too greasy. Let's talk about your dish. What did you get? I got the black truffle gnocchi. And how did you like it? I have to start by saying, even though I love pasta, gnocchi is not my favorite pasta because I find gnocchi can be a little bit too heavy and dense. That being said, I got it because I like truffles. And when it has truffles in it, I'm probably going to order it. But I couldn't really taste the truffles actually in this dish. It also had arugula, lemon, peas, Parmesan and vegan sausage and all of that mixed together was actually really good The only thing is that if I compare these gnocchi to others that I've had before it was a little bit heavier and um, I couldn't really finish it. So I gave my pasta to Amir at the end. I like pasta I'm not a huge fan. I would eat it if it's there, but I'm not very learned about it I didn't taste anything citrusy in there, so I don't know where the lemon part comes from. It's when they cooked the arugula, they mixed it in. But I couldn't taste it. Could you taste lemon? Yes. Oh, really? I couldn't taste it. I did enjoy it though, and I would have it again for sure. I thought it was yummy. One, One two, two, three. Boom. You give five to everything. Holy cow. I love plums. They can do no wrong. <laughs> Would you go back to Plum, the place they do no wrong <laughs> ever again? <laughs> I love Plum. I really, really think almost everything that I've ever eaten there, like, is excellent. The only thing that keeps us from going more often when we go to Seattle is they don't take reservations, so you have to wait. And the parking, again, is horrendous. So if I can't find parking, not gonna eat there. But other than that, I definitely would go back to Plum. Yes, I would go back to Plum, obviously, because it's one of your favorites. But other than that, I mean, don't get me wrong, the food is good. There's nothing wrong with the food. But all the factors that Diana mentioned, the parking being horrendous, this small, the place being a small, no reservation. Sometimes you end up sitting at a bar. And especially since we're not from Seattle and there are very many other places in Seattle that are great. I'd rather go to other places where I could have a more comfortable meal. But I would, I would go back. That's what they, I know. What are you looking at me like that? If you like this video and you like the kind of videos we do, do yourself a favor, go ahead, subscribe, Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Take a look at this video on Amir's stupid mustache again. He needs to shave it off. <laughs>